Depending on the location and the size of the area that needs to be removed to remove your tumor, your surgeon may recommend that you have a skin graft for closure. This is to help to reduce any tension that might be in the area. A skin graft involves removing an area of skin away from your surgical site where your tumor was and transplanting it onto the surgical site after the tumor has been removed. The main reason a skin graft has been recommended is that it allows for healing to be more rapid of a larger area that needs to heal. A skin graft involves taking the most superficial layers of skin, generally from the upper thigh or buttock area, and transplanting it into the surgical bed where your tumor has been removed. This um, eventually will take into the area and heal. Um, oftentimes the surgical site where a skin graft has been placed looks different than natural skin. During your surgical procedure, your surgeon will take the superficial layers of skin from a small area on your upper thigh or buttock. This area will be transplanted to your surgical site and either uh, sutured in place or made adherent into place with a dressing. This dressing, which is usually called a bolster, will stay in place usually for approximately a week and you will have it removed in the clinic when you return for your post-op visit. We ask that you do not get this bolster wet or moist at any point in time and you do not remove it prior to your visit. At the time of your surgery, the donor site, which as mentioned is the upper thigh or buttock area, will be covered with a clear dressing that will allow for fluid to accumulate underneath it. The fluid generally looks pinkish in color and is normal and is not a sign of infection. This clear dressing should stay in place at least again until you're seen in the clinic. You should not remove it at any point in time. If you find that that dressing somehow becomes loose or dislodged, we ask that you call the clinic or the doctor's office to have further instruction. Once the clear dressing comes off of your donor site, the way that it will heal will be similar to a superficial burn or a brush burn. It will have a slightly discolored um, appearance, which would be pink in nature, which will fade over time. If fluid happens to accumulate under the clear dressing on your upper thigh or buttock area, the nurses will show you or your family member how to remove this excess fluid. We ask that this be done sterilely, generally with an alcohol pad and a small syringe and then eventually we'll have this area reinforced with another clear dressing on top of the current one so that you never remove the clear dressing that's on top of the donor site at any point in time. The skin graft that's placed onto the area that needs to be covered will be meshed in the operating room and what we mean by that is we place it through a machine that will allow for very tiny holes to be placed into the skin graft. Once that occurs um, and it's transplanted onto the area that needs coverage, these little tiny holes allow for fluid to be drained and allows for better healing. This also causes a different appearance to the skin graft site. That texture and appearance of the skin grafted site will be permanent. Often the skin graft site is also somewhat depressed or concave compared with the surrounding skin. Oftentimes that may fill in somewhat but will also uh, appear permanently different than the surrounding skin. The main complications of having a skin graft involve first that you have two separate surgical sites, the donor site which is on your upper thigh or buttock area as well as the site where your tumor had been removed and the skin graft has been placed. In terms of risks at both sites, there's a risk of infection and bleeding. These are relatively low. At the site where the skin graft has been placed for healing, there's a chance that that area might become infected leading to loss of the skin graft. Also, depending on local factors such as circulation, um, you may find that part of your skin graft may fail or the entire thing may fail. If that occurs, then healing needs to happen over time, which may take a little bit longer than expected. If the skin grafted area needs to be very extensive or very large, your surgeon might recommend that you be admitted to hospital after your procedure. If that's the case, we'll often recommend that a different dressing be placed on top of your skin graft called a vac dressing. A vac dressing is a sponge type dressing that is attached to continuous suction that allows for all this excess fluid that accumulates to be suctioned away from the incision in the, the skin graft site to allow it to heal faster. Generally, that'll stay in place for four to five days while you're in the hospital and be removed prior to your discharge. After that point in time, simple dressings will be placed over top of your skin graft site when you go home. 
Skin grafts are very good options for particular patients and you in general. If your surgeon has recommended a skin graft for you, this will likely allow for things to heal up much faster than if they were allowed to heal on their own without skin graft coverage. You may find that you may be able to return to your normal activities faster with a skin graft.